This is the Z-Series 100 watt power delivery power bank from JagoTech, and in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing and testing it. Hi, welcome back to Honest Reviews. My name is Rob. It's impressive to see a power bank that is capable of putting out 100 watts power delivery. Why would a power bank like this be useful? Well, if you need to charge like a 16 inch MacBook Pro at full speed, you are going to need a power bank that is capable of putting out 100 watts. Now, full disclosure, I wasn't sponsored by Jago Tech to make this video, but I did reach out to them to see if they would provide me with a power bank to review, and they did. My thoughts and my testing in this video are my own. Okay, so the first thing that I kind of want to touch on is the price for this power bank. So this power bank is going for $139.99, and you can get it from the Jago Tech website. They do free two-day domestic shipping, and it comes with a two-year warranty. Now, the stated capacity of this power bank is 26,800 milliamp hours. It has two USB-A ports and one USB-C port capable of 100 watt power delivery. Now that's just output. For input, it's gonna be able to charge at up to 45 watts. Another thing to note is that this power bank does support pass-through charging. So you could be charging through the USB-C port and you could still be using the USB-A ports. It comes with a case and it also comes with a really nice braided USB-C to USB-C cable. And you can check the charge level remaining for the power bank by just pressing the button. And then four LEDs will light up showing you the remaining charge. Okay, let's take a second and talk about build quality. So you have an all aluminum case, but the end pieces I believe are plastic. I kind of like the, the shape of the case, not being like, you know, like a semicircle, which I've seen like for a couple of other different power banks. Um, this feels like it's pretty easy to hold. I think overall this power bank feels quite nice, but it's maybe not as luxurious feeling as some of the other power banks that I've tested. It weighs in at 543 grams, which is pretty light for a power bank in this class. Okay, I mentioned that this battery is gonna be able to charge a 16 inch MacBook Pro at full speed. What you're gonna be able to get out of this is about an 80% full charge. The battery in the MacBook Pro is about the same size as this, but you're not gonna get the full capacity out of this. So in the conversion loss, you get about an 80% uh, full charge of a MacBook Pro if you're charging a MacBook Pro with this. Okay, let's talk about testing. So I did test this power bank by draining it completely and then uh, recharging it completely and then measuring the power bank as I again drained it completely. And what I was able to find is that this power bank tests about 78.5% of its rated capacity. Now that is a little bit on the lower end of what I've seen in my testing, but it is a pretty narrow range that I have found. Most power banks are in the like 80 to 85% range. So 78% is not, you know, terribly low, but um, it is kind of on the lower range of what I've seen. Another thing to note is that when I was testing discharging this power bank at the full 100 watts, I did see the efficiency drop. So when I was discharging it at a lower wattage, I was getting the 78.5%. But when I was discharging it at 100 watts, I got 76.4%. So a little bit lower. I don't know if that's like totally significant, but it is. it does kind of make sense that higher wattage discharge is going to result in, you know, less efficiency. That said, even discharging at the higher wattage of 100 watts. I took the temperature readings on this and it was at like 31 degrees Celsius or 88 degrees Fahrenheit. So it still remained pretty cool, probably thanks to the aluminum enclosure. As I mentioned, this power bank recharges at 45 watts, so not at 100 watts. And the recharge time took about two hours and 38 minutes. Okay, some final thoughts on this power bank. If you are looking for a power bank that's going to be able to recharge your 16 inch MacBook Pro at full speed, this is a pretty good option. This is pretty good value too at $140. Anchor doesn't even have a 100 watt power delivery power bank. They do have an 87 watt power delivery power bank, but that one goes for $170 and is slightly less capacity, though it does come with a charger. So for this one, it's really kind of a case, I think, of if you need a 100 watt um, power bank, this is a pretty good option at a pretty good price point. Now, some of the cons with this one, the tested actual capacity performance of this power bank isn't as high as I've seen for some of the other power banks that I've tested, but it wasn't too bad. Um, and then also it's maybe not quite as sexy as some of the other power banks that I've seen. One thing that I'll mention is that you can bundle this power bank with a 45 
watt power delivery wall charger. So that's gonna add $20. It's kind of nice that it's just sold separately so that if you don't need a wall charger like this, you don't have to pay extra for it. Okay, I hope that you found this review of the Z series 100 watt power delivery power bank from Jago Tech helpful. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. I'm gonna be doing more power bank testing like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, bye.